now that time of the year where I feel like everyone is trying and struggling to get to their Goodreads goal. And I'm kind of in the same boat. <laughs> I set my Goodreads goal this year for 120 books. I have now read 144. So I have technically surpassed my goal for the year. However, in my head, I always kind of wanted to read 150. So I figured in this video, we would try and get to my Goodreads goal together. There are now like two weeks left of the year and I would really like to read six books with you guys so that we can get to 150. So I have my gorgeous TBR cart here. I have just sat and unwrapped all of these books because I just did two videos in which I read wrapped up books. I wrapped up my whole TBR and then we read them together and I just had to unwrap all of the rest of them. <laughs> so here we have all of the books that now sit on my TBR. There are two more shelves down here that you just can't see. But I have gathered six books here that I would like to get to in this video. So all we're going to do in this vlog is read six books together as quickly as possible so that I can hit 150 before the end of the year. I can't say I have full faith in myself that I'm going to manage this but I'm definitely going to try my best. So my TBR for this video I would love to read One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. I feel like I said this so many times in my wrapped up vlogs that I was trying to choose this book. I was like going through the wrapped up books and I was looking specifically for this book and I never managed to get it. But this is the first book that I would really like to read. I heard it's really good. Everyone seems to love it and I feel like it is the time of year for fantasy. So this is the first one I want to pick up. I also recently got Done and Dusted by Lila Sage and I have been wanting to read this basically ever since I heard about it. It is a yeehaw cowboy romance. It's short. It looks really good. I've heard amazing things. I feel like I'm going to love this. So this is the next book that I would also like to get to. We then have The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is, I feel like, very much out of my comfort zone. But I have heard that this is really addictive, really quick. It's short. There's a theme here. I've picked like short, quick books in the hopes that I can get these all read in enough time. But yeah, this is like a YA, like there's a group of people that solve cold cases. They each have their own, I guess, like skill in relation to solving cold cases. And they come together into this group called The Naturals and they solve cold cases together. And I've heard that it's amazing. It's short, it's quick. So that is definitely on my TBR for this week. I then have In the Weeds by BK Borison. I recently read Love Like Farms in my video in which I read Christmassy romances for a week. And I really, really liked it. I really liked the writing style. We were introduced to Evelyn and Beckett, who are the two main characters in this book, in Love Life Farms. And I was very much looking forward to reading their romance. So this is the next book that I'd also like to pick up this week. The final two books I have here are books that I was so highly anticipating, but they just happened to come out at a time in the year where I had so many other reading plans that I haven't been able to get to them yet. We have Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. This is one of the books I was most excited for this year. I feel like I mentioned it in like June, in my like most anticipated to read, literally June. I've been looking forward to this. I can't wait. This is the third book in the Windy City series. It is following Kai and Miller. It is just like a, I believe, nanny romance maybe? I feel like we were introduced to the male lead in this in previous books. I think he's a baseball player. But yeah, I absolutely adored The Right Move. I wasn't a massive fan of Mile High, but I loved The Right Move and I can't wait. I literally can't wait. So this is probably one of the ones that I'm going to get to sooner rather than later. And then the final one I have on this stack is another one of those new releases that I was really wanting to get to but just haven't had the time yet. King of Greed by Anna Huang. I think, yeah, it's Kings of Sin. This is book number three of Kings of Sin series. I really liked the first two books. I think they were like four stars. I don't think they were like phenomenal, but they were very much enjoyable. And I really like Anna Huang's writing. They're like kind of billionaire, not mafia, but kind of like, I don't know, billionaire powerful men and I believe that this is like a marriage in turmoil kind of thing in that they're married and she's wanting to leave and it's kind of them I guess rekindling their romance together and saving their marriage so yeah very excited very sure I get through Anna Huang's books really quickly so yeah so this is my stack of six books that I'm going to read with you hopefully over the next two weeks I feel like I can do it I feel like I've purposefully chosen short quick ones that I should be able to get done I have some faith I do have some faith I don't know which one I'm going to start with I feel like it's going to be done and dusted because that looks like the shortest one and I'm in the mood for a romance at the minute so I will check in with you when I have read these as I said I have read 144 books so these six books should take me up to 150 and we have about two weeks left of the year bearing in mind one of those weeks is literal Christmas week so we shall see <laughs> how well I can do but yeah these are the six books we're going to get to I think I'm going to start with done and dusted so I will check in with you once I've made some progress on that one <laughs> I start so many clips of me saying I thought I was gonna check in with you halfway through and I didn't and I'm sorry and that's basically what's happened this time around as well I've finished Done and Dusted already there are multiple reasons why I've not checked in with you for one I have read this over the span of like four hours so there wasn't really time to check in with you and for two my like I never know what to call it my chronic illness has been kicking my ass this last like I guess like even a few weeks to be honest with you but today 
it's not been a good day. So I was not really in the mood to film anything, but I'm feeling a bit better. I've got the bath running. I'm gonna go sit in the bath and I'm gonna start my next book. But I thought I would check in with you about my thoughts and feelings on Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This was so cute. It's fluffy, it's quick, it's short, it's steamy. It's just perfect. It's perfect. I'm gonna give it four stars. It's not five star feels, but it's still really, really good. And I really enjoyed it. It's very much cowboy. Essentially, we follow our main character, Emmy, who is some sort of like horse rider. I don't know the the ins and outs of like horse riding and stuff because I don't I don't I don't know I don't know it but she is some kind of horse rider and essentially she has an accident where she's thrown from her horse and so she's come back home basically because she wants to quit riding because this has really scared her and she ends up re-meeting with this guy called Luke who is her brother's best friend um, and they basically don't like each other or at least like in the past haven't really gotten along but he ends up helping her kind of get back on the horse literally after her accident and helps her like find her feet with horse riding again and obviously a romance ensues but it's kind of forbidden because obviously he's the brother's best friend whatever so really cute really fluffy it was really really quick to read like i said it isn't hard to digest in any way. It's really easily digestible. It's really fast. It's really fun. It's really fluffy. I feel like fluffy is the best way to put it. It's just fun. And there is no third act breakup, which is my favorite thing. I feel like I'm going to keep telling you guys this because I love when there's no third act breakup. I love when there's a little bit of drama. You have to have some sort of drama towards the end of the book, right? But I love it when there's no stupid third act breakup because it's usually because of miscommunication that drives me mad. And sometimes it deducts from my enjoyment of the book and I end up dropping my ratings of books when they do that. So in case you're interested, there's no third act breakup there's definitely like plot points and things going on so it's not boring by any means but there's no third act breakup which makes me very happy <laughs> so that is book number 145 for the year so i now have five books left to read i think the next book i'm going to pick up is caught up by liz tom ford because i have been wanting to read it for the longest time and i'm so excited and i'm just like I don't know it's, it's been like clawing at me that i really need to start that book so i think that's the next book i'm going to pick up and i'll check in with you when i have started caught up i wish you guys could see <laughs> what i've got you balanced on right now i've got four paperbacks a tupperware and then a hardback and then my tripod and it is like <laughs> it's leaning i come bearing literally phenomenal news i'm halfway through caught up by liz tom ford i'm kicking screaming crying giggling this is amazing this is amazing. I knew that I was going to love it because I did love The Right Move. That's one of my favourite books of all time. I didn't love Mile High. I've said it a million times, but I think that that's like a common, a common thing. I feel like most people didn't love that book. This one is so good. It's not quite hitting the exact same as The Right Move. I think it'll be very difficult for a book to meet the same level as The Right Move, but this is very close. This is sitting at like a 4.75 literally a 4.75 i will have to see how the rest of the book plays out it's not giving me complete five star feels but it's giving me like pretty much pretty much so we could get a five star here i don't know this is just so cute it's so cute i just absolutely adore it when the female leads have like such a backbone like she's so confident and she's the one that's initiating all this flirting like they've got this like flirty banter going on they kind of know that they probably shouldn't be with each other this is like a nanny romance he is a single dad she's come to help him out and she is also his coach's daughter so it's kind of like forbidden in a few ways they know they shouldn't really be together but they have this like flirty banter and she's the one initiating it and he's getting like flustered and i'm like that's just my thing that gets me i just love female leads that are like confident flirty banter i just think it's great i think it's great because i feel like a lot of romance books it's usually the male love interest that like initiates a lot of that sort of thing or like the female lead is maybe a little bit shy which is fine which is fine but i do really love when we have like a confident funny female lead just love it i think it's great this is just i literally sat down to read it last night just before bed it was like half 11 and i stayed up till 2 a.m i stayed up till 2 a.m just sat reading this because i physically couldn't stop and i had to force myself like i got to chapter 22 and i was like i need to stop because it's 2 a.m i need to go to bed <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna crack on with this i feel like the next time i check in with you will be once i finished it this is phenomenal liz tom ford you have my soul my heart i need to check i don't know if she's got any other books i don't know if she's just got the windy city series and i thought that this was the last book in the series apparently we're getting another one apparently we're getting another one there's another one after this which i don't actually know who it follows but part of me is really hoping that it's like rio i think there were hints that it's going to be asaya unless asaya like has asaya is his brother and he's got like a flirty relationship going on with another one of the side characters in this book so i don't know i don't know i hope it's rio because rio we were introduced to quite early on and i think his love story would be really fun so i don't know if it's even been announced what the next one is about but i'll need to do some research basically to sum all of this up i'm adoring this this is phenomenal i'm so glad that i picked it up i am also glad that i picked it up because it's gonna take me like next to no time to finish this because it's already taken me next to no time to get halfway through so great pick for this week seeing as i need to get through <laughs> get through as many books as possible but yeah loving this we'll check in with you probably once i finished it and i have a strong feeling it's gonna be like a 4.75 or a 5.
I have now finished Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. This was phenomenal. This was so cute. I loved this. I'm going to give this 4.5. It's not quite a five star. I'm thinking when I compare it to like the right move. It's not quite the right move to me, but I did much prefer it to Mile High, the first book. This was so good. This was so cute. I don't really like kids in books. I don't really like, I mean, I don't want to say I don't like the single dad trope, but it's definitely not one that I like seek out and really want to read from. But this was literally so cute. It was so cute. I can't, <laughs> like even thinking about it, I'm like, I just love this. I love this so much. If you haven't read the Windy City series, I would highly recommend. I do really, really like it. Again, I say it every time. The first book, I don't think is the best, but the second book is one of my favorite books of all time. And this, this is up there. This is definitely up there with romance books that I love. I think this was just so good. It's like a 4.75. I feel like that's nicer. I feel like that feels more, <laughs> feels better. 4.75. This was just amazing. This is officially book number 146 for the year. So I now have four books left that I need to read before the end of the year. Well, before the end of this week, <laughs> because I'm uploading this at the end of this week. So we shall I'll see. I have been thinking I might switch out like one of my books, maybe for a novella, just to see if that will give me the edge to be able to do, to be able to complete however many books I need to read this week, but we shall see. I think the next book that I'm going to pick up is probably going to be King of Greed. Is that what it's called? The next Anna Huang book. I can't remember the actual names of the books in that series, but the third book in the Kings of Sin series, I'm going to start that. I think it's King of Greed, but yeah, so far so good. We've had Done and Dusted, which was a four star, and then we've had this, which was like a 4.75, and then I feel like Anna Huang is going to be at least a four star. Most of her books are for me. I'm going to go crack on with that next book and I will check in with you when I have some thoughts and feelings on that one. But so far, so good. I can't really complain. I feel like it's a little bit overwhelming trying to read this many books in this short of a span of time. But I think we will manage it. So I'm going to go crack on with King of Greed or whatever the next book is in the Anna Huang Kings of Sin series. And I will check in with you once I have some updates. I have now officially started and finished King of Greed by Anna Huang. I ended up picking this up last night thinking, I'll read a little bit before bed, babes. I'll read a little bit, see where I get. I read like 80% <laughs> before I fell asleep. And then I finished the last little bit this morning. I feel like overall it took me like three hours to read this book. This book is like just over 300 pages, I wanna say. It is gorgeously short. However, I feel like my one complaint about this book was that it didn't have enough depth, which kind of goes against my whole, oh, it's great because it's short, because obviously it kind of had its shortfalls because of it being so short. However, in this one, we follow our two main characters who have been married for like 10 or 11 years, I think. And at the start of this book, we see her being really, really unhappy in the relationship. She basically says to him, I want a divorce and he doesn't want a divorce. I don't think he realizes like quite how bad he's been as a husband. So they go through getting this divorce. She kind of goes off, does her own thing and it kind of follows them, I guess, rekindling, trying to get their marriage back. That sort of vibe. Anyway, I feel like they were cute together. I did like him. I did like how he groveled. <laughs> I just think that I wish there was more depth, which again goes against my whole thing in that I loved it because it was short and it was quick but like 50 more pages maybe, just a little bit more of their backstory because they originally met in, I wanna say it's like college, it's like late college, they met because she was tutoring him. You do get flashbacks to them being together and when they first met, but I wish they'd been just like, a little bit more and then just a little bit more of them like I guess butting heads working out the differences which there definitely is there's definitely a lot of discussion about that and she doesn't give up easily but I feel like there were some things that happened where I was like aren't we meant to like kind of hate this guy right now anyway I think it was fun it was cute I gave it 3.75 I think I gave it a four on goodreads but yeah I liked this it was great because it was short and it was quick <laughs> however I do wish there was a bit more depth I have liked I think pretty much every book that I have read by Anna Huang I have read the whole Twisted series and I have read all of the books obviously up until this one in the Kings of Sin series I think this is my least favorite of the Kings of Sin series I thought it was going to be my favorite because I had seen these characters in other books and I thought I'm really gonna like them I really want to know their story and then it was a bit like it was fun, but it was a little bit flat. It wasn't the best one. I would still recommend this series. I do think these books are a little bit more cookie cutter. If you have read her Twisted series, I do think generally speaking, her Twisted series is better than this one. And I think that these stories are a little bit repetitive and they're definitely not as fleshed out as the Twisted series. And I feel like the Twisted series books are longer in general anyway. So I feel like maybe that's why. But yeah, I definitely prefer the Twisted series to this one, but I still think these are fun and quick. I don't think they're anything phenomenal, amazing, gonna like blow your mind, but I think they're fun. So I'm glad that I've read that one. I have now read, I wanna say 146 books out of my 150. <gasps> Oh my God, I'm lying. I've read 147. Okay, that makes me even happier. I only have three more books left to read. I'm filming this, it is currently the 19th of December. I am filming this and then uploading it this Sunday. So this Sunday I think is the 24th. So I now have five days, not including today, but including the 24th, I have five days. So it's more like four and a half <laughs> until I need to reach my goal. So the next book that I'm gonna read, I think is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It's sat over there at the minute, but I'm gonna read The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes because it is relatively short and I've heard it's a quick fun one and it's YA. So I'm 
hoping that it'll be easily digestible. So I'm gonna pick up The Naturals next and then I have two more books to read. I think I was gonna read In the Weeds by B.K. Borison and then One Dark Window by something Gillig. I can't remember her first name, but something Gillig, One Dark Window. I'm undecided on One Dark Window just because I am really excited for that book and I don't wanna rush myself, especially because it's a fantasy. So I think I will read The Naturals and then In the Weeds and then we might find something different and I might save One Dark Window until next year so that I can actually devote my time to it. Are you getting my gist? So that is it. I have read 147 books. We have three left to go. I have five days to read three books. I feel like I can do that. I feel like that's doable. So I'm going to crack on <laughs> with the naturals and I will check in with you when I have some thoughts and feelings to share on that one. I am back and I have some really fun updates <laughs> for you guys. So first of all, I have actually started The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm halfway through and I want to give you some thoughts and feelings on it. But I also have a massive package here that I really want to unbox with you guys. And I was lucky enough to be contacted by Teddy Blake. I will link them down below. They are a luxury handbag brand and they gave me free reign essentially to choose one of the bags off of their website. And they have some really, really gorgeous ones. But I don't know if I ever mentioned this in any of my other vlogs, but I have been desperately trying to find a new work bag. As I always say, I do have a job where I work nine to five. It is an office job. And I have been using my mum's bag for the last like year. I've been using my mum's bag and she wants it back. And so I have been looking for a work bag for a really long time. And I wanted one specifically that fit a laptop, but also fit basically everything else that I need to bring with me on a day in the office, which is a lot for someone like me who likes to overpack and bring about a million things with me. I just really wanted a nice, gorgeous black bag that had space for my laptop and space for all my bits and bobs that I like to bring with me. And so I was in luck when I got reached out to by Teddy Blake. So I'm going to unbox this with you guys and I'm going to show you the bag that I have received. I'm so excited. <laughs> We've also made progress. I feel like if you have seen me before, you will know that I never have scissors with me. I now have tiny scissors. Um, <laughs> so we're in the right direction, but I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what I got. I have been so excitedly waiting for this parcel to arrive <laughs> because I really, really, really wanted to see it. I took a good long look at their website and found the kind of perfect bag for me. So in this box, we have another box inside of a box. This feels so fancy to me. It's in like a big fancy container. I don't know what it is, but I've always wanted a bag that comes with one of these little like, I wanted to call it a dust jacket then. That's not what I mean, little dust bag. Is that what they're called? I'm saying dust jacket because obviously I'm a book girly. So so this is the bag that I got. I feel like this is the perfect size for my laptop. I was really, really hoping that it would fit. I will pop up the name of the one that I got on the screen here, but it is really, really cute. And I got the one that has the red insides. I believe in this style, you can get like blue insides or something like that. It has two little compartments, if you can see there, to put like, I guess, notebooks or your laptop, things like that. This is so cute. I really, really like this. It also feels really soft. The one, the bag that I have at the minute isn't a leather one, and I feel like it doesn't have all that much like structure to it but this one I feel like if I were to put it down it would stand on its own head I'm going to insert some little clips here of it in better lighting and like a full up close so that you can see the bags themselves are also made in Italy with premium Italian leather and new collections are released every month so cute this is so cute I believe that this one is like the 15 inch one and so my laptop does fit perfectly in there this is so cute I'm so happy again I will link Teddy Blake below and thank you again to them for sending this over to me this is gorgeous they have a good range of things they have a lot of like different sizes bag so if you are more of like a, a little handbag girly then they have loads of those as well I was just specifically looking for kind of a larger work bag and they are luxury bags but all of them are half price or sometimes less than half price of the kind of original retail price so yeah this is gorgeous thank you again for sending this over to me and again they will be linked down below so feel free to go have a look stunning so now time for a really quick reading update as i said i did start the naturals and i'm halfway through i started it literally this morning this book is so quick this book is so so quick to read i again sat down for like maybe an hour or two this morning and i'm already halfway through it's not simple in any way like that but it's just a very very easy book to read and digest i feel like because it is a ya book as well that kind of especially lends itself to being an easy book but either way i started this this morning and i am actually really liking it so far we are following our main character cassie who was kind of like scouted by the FBI to become one of the naturals beyond the naturals program and essentially this is a group of as far as I can see teenagers they're like 17 16 17 and they specialize in different areas of like solving cold cases so she's a profiler and there's people that do like I don't know there's one girl that's just like really smart and has like this encyclopedic knowledge of everything I think there's a group of maybe four or five of them and she is called to join this group and as I am at the minute she has basically just joined and she is starting to take part in kind of some of the training to do with that so I think it's a really really cool concept I am a true crime girly. I love true crime. So I feel like this is a way to kind of get that, but through a very cool lens in that you're seeing someone that actually works on like 
the profiling and stuff like that. I do like Cassie so far. I do like the other characters. I feel like they are interesting and it's kind of fun to learn about them. I feel like they all have their different motivations as to why they have agreed to be part of this program. And as far as I can see, there's like some, there's some history with some of these people as to why maybe they're not so much of a fan of the program. But yeah, this is the first book in quite a long series. I think there's like maybe four or five books in this series. It's really short, it's really quick. I'm really liking it. I feel like it's sitting at like a four star. It's not blowing me away, but I am very much enjoying myself and I feel like I would continue with this series. So yeah, we are halfway through. It is currently Wednesday and I have until Sunday to read this book and then two others. So we shall see how that goes, but I feel like I'll be able to finish this either tonight or very early tomorrow morning and then we'll crack on with the next one. But yeah, really enjoying this so far. I have faith that I will be able to read all these books before the end of this week. But yeah, enjoying this fast, quick, gorgeous read. Can't complain. So yeah, I will check in with you probably when I have finished this. I've been trying for like 20 minutes to try and get this, get this angle lined up. Either way, I think I'm wonky, but we're just going to deal with it. I need to update you. It is now the day after, I think, that I last checked in with you and I have now finished The Naturals. I ended up sitting and finishing it last night. I think I stayed up till like 2am <laughs> to finish this book. I really liked it in the end. I'm surprised as to how much I liked it because I thought I was going to enjoy it, but I didn't think I was going to enjoy it, if you know what I mean, because I have said a million times I'm not a YA girly anymore. It's not really for me anymore. It read like a YA, which is fine because it is literally a YA, that's the whole point, but it did read simple. It's a simple book. It's like simple to understand, easy to grasp, which is good, which is what I wanted. So I have no complaints in that regard. I, again, don't think I'll be reading a lot more YA just because it's not really my thing, as I've said a million times. I did like this and I feel like I will continue with this series. It was fun. It was quick. I think that the story itself was good. I liked the premise of it. I did kind of figure out what was going to happen at the end, but again, that's literally nothing against the book itself. I think it was really fun. I liked the reveal. I liked how everything played out. I liked how short it was. I just think it was really fun and I will continue with this series. I think it's one of those that isn't going to be like a five star for me. I ended up giving it four stars. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> I gave it four stars. It's one of those that's not going to be like a five star read for me, but it was fun, enjoyable. It did what it said on the tin. It did what I wanted it to do. So I have now read 148 books <laughs> this year. I have two more books to read. It is currently Thursday as I'm filming this. I am wanting to get this done by Sunday. So I feel like I have faith that I will be able to do this by Sunday because two books in kind of more like three days because this is uploaded on the Sunday. I feel like that's doable. I feel like that's doable. The next book that I'm going to read is, I've actually got it with me, is In the Weeds by BK Borison. I literally got a comment yesterday. I put up my reading Christmas romance vlog, whatever, yesterday. And one of the books that I read in that was Love Like Farms, which is the first book to this kind of series. And this follows the influencer that was in that first book. And then one of the people that works at the farm and you get a good insight into them in the first book so I feel like I am very excited to see their story so I feel like that's going to be a quick one again it's like probably only just about three yeah 320 pages and then I ended up finding on I think it was on Spotify in the end the Unhoneymooners but like the novella that comes after the Unhoneymooners I read the Unhoneymooners ages ago ages and ages and ages ago it's by Christine Lauren I read it like three four years ago and I really liked it at the time I feel like I have heard recently some not so great things I feel like people aren't a massive fan of it um <laughs> so I don't know if I were to read it now maybe I wouldn't like it so much but there's a little novella that is just on audio and it's only like four hours long and it is like following the wedding of the couple from the Unhoneymooners and the sister and like her romance while she helps plan this wedding and I'm like that that could be perfect that could be perfect so I'm gonna read In the Weeds and then I'm also gonna read I don't know what it's called but it's like the novella that comes after the Unhoneymooners I will tell you obviously when we get around to it and that should mean that we can get it all done before this weekend and I will have read 150 books this year what a sleigh. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go read in the weeds and I will check in with you when I have some thoughts and feelings. I feel like I have so much to catch up on and it's only been like just over a day. I think since I last checked in with you, either way, I think the last thing that I said was that I had finished The Naturals and I'd given it four stars and I'd enjoyed it and that I was gonna start In the Weeds by BK Borison. Now, I have started this. I am about halfway through and I'm really liking this. This is essentially following Evelyn, which is the influencer that's in Love Light Farms. So this is like the companion kind of sequel to Love Light Farms, right? So in Love Light Farms, we follow a separate couple that just so happened to have this influencer visiting their farm and we're following the romance of the influencer and one of the guys that works there. They had like a fling a few months ago and they have come back into contact. She is back at Love Light Farms because she's kind of struggling with her work at the minute and wants to, I guess, find her happy is what she's calling it. She just wants to get away for a bit and she's ended up back at Love Light Farm. So it's them kind of, I wouldn't say rekindling, but like, I kind of rekindling after their fling and it's really really cute so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's a quick read. I have actually been reading it on my Kindle because I read books so much quicker on my Kindle and I'm halfway through this one. Really liking it so far. 
think it's gonna be like another four star. I feel like every book that we've had in this vlog so far has been a four star. I could be wrong, but I feel like I'm correct. It's, I feel like they've all been four stars, which I can't really complain about. I feel like, I feel like we're doing quite well. Either way, halfway through this one. However, I have also started, I think it's called The Honeymoon Crash. Yeah, it is, it's called The Honeymoon Crashers. It is kind of the novella sequel to The Unhoneymooners. Again, I think I said in my last clip that I had read The Unhoneymooners like years ago, years and years and years ago. And that is one of my OG five stars. However, I did read it again, like I said, quite a while ago. So I don't know if that still stands because I feel like everyone who has read this book recently has not liked it. Anyway, this is like the novella sequel thing. And I'm also like two thirds of the way through that. So I have been taking off my nails. <laughs> I've got little stubs. I've been taking off my nails and I have been listening to the audiobook for it and like I said I'm like two thirds of the way through I'm also really liking this one I feel like this is another four star so I feel like every single book that we're gonna have in this vlog is a four star which is just I don't think I've had this good luck with a vlog for a very long time so yeah like I said halfway through this one and then also halfway through The Honeymoon Crashes by Christina Lauren I will probably end up finishing The Honeymoon Crashes in the next like hour or so because I've literally just been listening to an audio it's like an audio exclusive and then I'm planning to finish In the Weeds tonight or tomorrow so I feel like this is going well it's going very well bearing in mind it is currently the 22nd of December and I want to get this up on the 24th I have time I have time I didn't think that I would have time I feel like in my brain this was going to be a massive scrabble to try and get everything red in time and it's going well it's going very well so i will check in with you probably when i have finished both of these and when i have hit my 150 books for the year which is kind of mad considering i will still have like a week left so that's it for now i will probably see you later on this evening when i have finished either one or both of these books i feel like i haven't worn this jumper in a very very long time so i thought i would bring it out for this evening on top of the fact that i couldn't find it <laughs> for like two months which is why i haven't been wearing it and i finally found it today so i have some updates i have finished that novella that i keep forgetting the name of by christina lauren what's it called the honeymoon crashes i think it's called the honeymoon crashes i ended up finishing that earlier i did my nails um i don't know how i feel because i haven't ever put charms on my nails before but i keep seeing the tiktok girlies and like the instagram girlies with them on and i think they're really cute and i don't know if i can pull it off <laughs> So I went, I went a bit tame and I needed one. Anyway, I was sat doing my nails and I listened to basically the entirety of the audiobook for this. Again, like I said, this is an audio exclusive, like not audible exclusive, but like it's just an audiobook. I don't think it has a physical copy out anywhere as far as I know, but I listened to it on Spotify and I ended up giving it four stars. I really did like it. I think it was cute. I think it was fun. It was definitely like, I don't know. It didn't have much depth, but also what can you expect with a novella? Like it was only four and a half hours long. So it wasn't like a really long book. I feel like if it was written, it would have been like 150, 200 pages maximum. So I feel like that's part and parcel of the novella. I think it was cute. I liked the story. I, re I really, really, really liked a male love interest. I think he was a cutie pie. I liked the story. It was kind of like boy obsessed. He really, really liked her. He kind of fell first, that sort of vibe. I'm pretty sure I said before, but in this one, we followed the sister of the main woman from the Unhoneymooners. The main woman from the Unhoneymooners is getting married and the sister, our main character, is the one that is kind of planning this wedding for her. And in order to plan this wedding, she kind of gets like roped in to hang out with this guy who is the best man because the couple kind of want him to be involved with the planning as well. So they kind of have to plan this wedding together and obviously end up falling in love <laughs> in the process. It was really cute. It was really short. If you liked The Unhoneymooners, if you like Christine and Lauren, I would recommend it. Again, I don't know how I feel about The Unhoneymooners because I read it, I don't even know, three, four years ago now. And I really, really liked it, but I've only ever seen negative things. Ever since like book talk was a thing, I feel like I've only ever seen negative things because it was one of those like OG book talk books that I feel like a lot of people didn't like. But this one was cute. So I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't dislike the first one because I liked this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I gave this four stars. I have now only got one book left. One book left until I reach 150. I have read 149 books now and I'm halfway through it. So I haven't made any more progress yet on In the Weeds, but I am still halfway through it. So I will probably end up finishing it tonight, if not first thing tomorrow. It's been a good week. Everything has been four stars so far. I am also thinking that In the Weeds is gonna be four stars. It's not a five and I can't see it getting much below a four unless something really horrid happens for any reason. But what a week, guys, what a week. I have enjoyed myself very much. Also, I have a question. I have a question. I have some like PSAs for you guys. I did ask over on my Instagram for some questions. I wanna do like a Q and A because I feel like I don't really talk all that much about myself. <laughs> I feel like 
I want to talk to you guys about that sort of thing. So if you have any questions for me, can be personal, can be book related, can be literally anything, then let me know uh, in the comments. But my other question is, I don't know when to do this Q&A. In terms of a Q&A, would it just be, you'd be happy with it being at the end of a vlog somewhere and just let you know, you know, the Q&A is in this vlog. Is that like the thing? Is that the done thing? I don't even know. <laughs> I did get quite a lot of good questions over on Instagram. So I have the, I have the, I have the substance. I just don't really know where to put it. But like it's an awkward time of the year as well because I'm doing this vlog and then the rest of my videos, I think for the next two weeks, are all sit down ones like best books of the year worst books of the year you know i've got a book haul i want to do a video where i go over every single book that i've read this year so it's that sort of thing so i feel like is it just something that i would put in a vlog is that what you guys would like to see so two things is it something i should put in a vlog and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and just say these these are my questions for the q a otherwise knowing me i'll probably just answer them in your comment <laughs> instead of saving them another thing is i have actually already received a few gifts from you guys from my wish list which is making my heart so happy you guys are the cutest um and I wanted to just say I am planning on doing an like book unboxing haul thing I think around about the 27th of December because my Christmas present is gonna be books <laughs> and so I want to do like a book unboxing haul situation thing so I have received a few but I haven't yet opened them and I won't be opening them until the 27th to like unbox them in that video so if you have sent me something I do have some boxes sat here if you have sent me something thank you thank you so much it's so cute but I won't be opening them until the 27th so if you haven't heard from me I promise I'm not ignoring you I'm just saving them up so that I can open them in one fell swoop so I will reach out to anyone obviously that has sent me anything to say thank you and to talk to you whatever around about the 27th so if you have sent anything I promise I'm not ignoring you that is it for now I'm gonna crack on with in the weeds and I will check in with you probably when I have finished my 150th book <laughs> for the year I think you know what I'm about to say I have officially read 150 books this year. I feel so accomplished. I feel so accomplished. I know I only set out to read 120 books and here we are with 150. I feel like I've had a really good reading year overall and I'm just really glad that I managed to get to 150 in this week. So I have finished In the Weeds by BK Boris and I'm going to give this four stars. Is anyone surprised? Every single book this week has been a four star. Literally nothing new. Literally, literally nothing new. But this was really, really cute. I really liked this in the end. I have similar feelings towards it than I did to Love Light Farms. I think I preferred Love Light Farms but this was still really fun i really liked the characters in this i really liked their relationship i liked how it developed i just think they were really cute i think this was a book full of cutie pies and i just really really like this setting i think there is a third book yeah mixed signal so i don't actually know who that follows i have a feeling i have a feeling about who it's going to follow but i don't actually know for sure but this was just really cute i will be continuing with the series i just think they're really short sweet fun romances i don't think they're anything groundbreaking necessarily i do think love like farms is going to stick with me i think that that is obviously my favorite one but i just think the vibes were immaculate in that one and this one was just really fun i just i just think it's a really fun cute series so if you haven't read any of these books i would highly recommend again obviously love like farms is perfect for this time of year but i do think that you can read it any time of year and this one isn't set at christmas or anything like that this is like march or something i don't know either way not christmasy vibe to this one but really really fun really really cute i loved this four stars i just feel like we've had a really good week i <laughs> let me have a think about what i've actually read this week we have read six books together the first one i read was done and dusted by lila sage that was a four star i then read caught up by liz tom ford which is like a four i think i put it as a four on goodreads but 4.5 kind of overall king of greed another four star the naturals another four star the honeymoon crashes four stars and then in the weeds also four stars so we've had all four stars and then like a sprinkling of like a 4.25 4.5 if i had to be really specific so we've had a good week and i have read 150 books i just feel so happy it's almost like it's almost like a weight off my shoulders which feels bad to say because i am kind of against this whole read as many books as possible and like basing your worth off of how many books you read per year i think that that is a load of nonsense i think people should read whatever they want however much they want if you've read two books this year amazing if you've read 300 amazing whatever you know it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things if you've read good books that's all that matters so that is officially it for this video i've had a really really fun week like i said i've had this week off of work so i've just been chilling out reading loads of books having a great time and we've had some really really good reads this week so i can't really complain um again as i say in all my videos all my links are below i do have good reads i have my amazon wish list i have my instagram thank you very much again to teddy blake for gifting me my bag earlier in this video i will leave all of their links below i believe i also have a discount code as well for you guys so thank you to them for that and thank you very much for being here thank you for watching and i will see you whenever I next see you.